What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm doing something I have never mentioned in the vlog before. I used to think of it as a sin. But uh, today I'm going to a cyclocross race. Yeah, I, I bought a cyclocross bike and I'm going to a race. And it's crazy, it's crazy. Um, yeah, normally this race is like at 3 p.m. So it's one of those mornings where you, you feel like you can't really get a lot done. So I had breakfast, the standard blueberry Nutella porridge. Shee! 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 I'm just about to have lunch. Approximately three hours before, kept it simple, just pasta with salt, pepper, olive oil, and then I put some sausage and bacon because we had some. Um, yeah, so I'll be that now and then I'll be driving down to the race, which is luckily only 25 minutes away. So yeah, that should be pretty cool. A few moments later. So just got the car packed, got my bike, got the kit bag, and uh, we're good to go. Like I said, 25 minutes away, it's called Popham Airfield, so I'll see you there. Just got here, got the number 789. I think that's an absolutely fantastic number. So why is six afraid of seven? Nom, nom, nom. Because seven, eight, nine. Burr. There's the circuit. It's gonna be interesting. Luckily, it, from what I've heard, I've spoken to a couple guys. It's not too technical. That's not true. That's a lot. So that that benefits me being a massive noob. So we'll see about that. Seven, eight, nine. Got to pin the numbers. I can't really remember how to do this. So. Better figure it out. Firstly, they put me on the second row of the group, which is nice, which means I'm not gonna have to start from the back. We just did a little practice lap. It's a bit difficult, like it felt like a bit of a mountain bike race, not gonna lie. So it'll be an interesting test of my non existent skills. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll just be a bit of fun, really, and see what happens, because yeah, I've never done anything like this before. So will I crash most likely, but hopefully, hopefully, we can get some kind of fun result. Anyway, yeah. Five red lights will come on, and when they go off, we will be racing in New York City. Away we go, great start from Alex, a really electrifying start from Daniel App. What's to the yellow highlights? He's already down the inside, but Lin is fighting him up to the... No, 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 no. Comrade! Oh, my legs hurt, mate.
roll. Yep. So just finished my first cyclocross race. My back absolutely kills. So it's a good back workout if nothing else because I did core workout yesterday. So all those supporting core for my back was just non-existent. So my back was just folding for the entire race. But that was super fun. I think maybe sixth if I'm lucky, seventh perhaps. I dropped my chain and lost like 20 seconds, maybe half a minute trying to put it back on. And then I crashed because I found this, I can't explain it, but I found this bit where everyone took a different line and I just ramped it up the steep part of this lump and just grabbed the tree and yeeted myself over. So that was a, a good bit I found to make up time. The Can hurdles- zoom in on the injuries. Oh yeah. I, yeah, so before that I had a little crash. Not too bad, you know, my hands got a little, a little bit of stuff there. But um, yeah, the hurdles, not good for me. As soon as I jumped off the bike, Mark was like, ah, what is this running? Um, and then I jumped back on the bike and was like, ah, oh, this is good. And then it was just back to pain. So that was fun. And then the final lap, I'd been hunting down this Velo, I don't know what club it was, it was a shiny, it was a multicolored kit. And I hunted him down, surged past him, and then got a little sprint from the finish, which was pretty cool. And then, yeah, my, my back really hurts and I'm pretty tired because it's the f I've never done a cyclocross race before, apart from one time, which apparently everyone remembers, where I did it on a mountain bike with like 35 PSI. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm a little bit tired. I need to drive home with my very sore back. Got my protein bar. Um, obviously, the SIS protein bar. I really like this one because it's the same as a protein shake where it's got the protein and the carbs all in one. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck. <laughs> Link in the bio. <laughs> <laughs> and um, thank you to my lovely girlfriend for filming the video. <laughs> 24 hours later. So it's the next day now. I gave my bike a little rinse over with the hose just so it wasn't caked in mud yesterday. I thought I'll clean it tomorrow. And I just got out the pressure washer, which I literally, we haven't used probably for like seven or eight years. It's just been in the garage doing nothing. I don't know why I've never used it before because it's so... It, it's so it's so easy. It, it's so easy. I don't know why I haven't used it before, but um, yeah, it's it's doing the it's doing a good job. Ah, this is not a this is not a one-handed operation. So it's a Monday rest day now. Time to chill out. I get some stretching done, some foam rolling done, and uh, yeah, like I said, chill out. It was a super super fun racing yesterday. Honestly, it's like the first proper cross race I've done. Like I said, I did one. Five years ago on a mountain bike with 40 PSI, which is too much to do. We don't speak about that. We don't speak about races that didn't go well. That's the rule. No, I'm joking. But uh, yeah, it was super fun. And uh, I recommend anyone to give it a try because cyclocross is actually really good times. Like I said, I did notice my saddle was a bit too low. I will be raising that saddle shortly. I say that though, but I did really like having that low saddle. I felt like I could really maneuver the bike quite well. Um, it's just difficult to say how much it impacted, how much power I could actually put out through the pedals. But uh, yeah, we'll, I'll experiment with that, I'll figure it out, and hopefully next time I can do better. So this is, this is what I love. I just love starting things where I haven't got a huge amount of experience, basically being a complete rookie and trying to gain that experience. I think that's one of the most rewarding and fun things, like not just in cycling, but like in life in general, starting a new skill and watching as you improve. It's, uh, it's, it's fantastic, it's fantastic. Anyway, that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps me and it helps it helps me go further in cycling. So the more subscribers, the better. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one.